Oh my God. It's a smallie. What the hell? I thought I was snagged again. Oh my God. Good one. Good one. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was so sick. <gasps> it's a big one. Oh my God. Jay, Jay, Jay. Jay. PB. Creatures, worms with tails. Okay. Yes, sir. Boom. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today's gonna be pretty special. We're gonna be going for smallmouth and trout, if you can already tell by the thumbnail and title. Here with my tackle box. Um, I don't normally start my videos out like this. I'm, I normally just started out right at the spot, but I figured you guys might want to see, um, you know, kind of the thought process before we actually go into a fishing trip, how I decide on what I want to use. I have three different rods. Let me show you that actually. So right over there is my brand new combo. I actually already took it out um, for the first time, caught a nice little large mouth on that spook, but we're gonna be taking that off, probably tie something else on. Over here is my ultralight combo, which you guys haven't seen in a minute. Um, I also have a new rod coming in, which is supposed to come in today, but it hasn't come in yet. So we're gonna be using this rod for one last time. So say goodbye while you can. This is my old faithful ugly stick. It's like a five, six light rod, so. Last time using that thing, and then finally we have our Fluger present. You guys should probably already know this one. I use it pretty much everywhere I go. It's just such a great all-around rod. So that's what we're gonna be tying our stuff on with. And so yeah, so basically what I'm gonna do um, for these three different rods, I'm gonna try to figure out what I should put on at least for like to start out. You never know what the water's gonna be like once we get there, but um, I guess what we do is start out with the ultralight combo. Oh. All right, sorry about that guys. So yeah, so we're gonna start out with this ultralight combo. What I'm thinking, um, as you saw in the opening sequence, we gotta try these things out. If you guys don't know what these are, these are called the Tsukoshi Bug by Catchco. Apparently they're plastic, it just doesn't rip whatsoever. So it's perfect for like a little Ned rig or maybe like a shaky head. And yeah, so I really wanna try these out. I've never used them before. So I'm gonna tie on a little Ned rig for this um, ultralight combo. I'm gonna tie my Ned rig on here. So give me a second here. And we're all set, look at that, just instantaneously, just all tied up, super beautiful. I know you guys like that editing right there, that's why you subscribe, right? And if you're not already, hit that button right below. But anyways, anyways, let's move on. I uh, got the little Sukoshi bug on a little, probably like a 16th ounce Ned, uh, Ned weight, Ned bait, whatever you call it. Moving on, we're gonna go probably to the other spinning combo. We have our seven foot medium slash medium heavy. They, I think they call it like a medium, but it's really a medium heavy. It's just so, it's pretty stiff, but. Um, what I'm thinking, I haven't really thought about it too much, but I have some braid tied to down to some fluorocarbon. So what I'm thinking, so what I'm gonna do is tie on a little shaky head. So I have this right here. Um, I don't know the weight of it because it's kind of old, but this one's looking a little better. It's a black nickel one, I think, and it, stay, it looks like it's gonna stand up just a little bit better. Hopefully I don't get snagged because that's all that ever happens when I use a shaky head. All right guys, never mind. I just changed my mind about the whole shaky head thing. What I did is I already had a little um, like three or four out hook on it and I just tied on a little, I mean, I rigged up a little green pumpkin worm. So that's just our insurance. We're probably not gonna use it, but, and with my other uh, bait caster, my new bait, bait caster has 12 pound mono. So that's perfect for a little uh, crankbait. So what I did is I tied on this little guy. Um, it's an interesting color. It's like a watermelon type color, but whatever. We're gonna see how it works. I, I do have a bunch of different other crankbaits we could tie on so if this doesn't work you could try, probably try tying on um, other ones so that's all we're gonna be using for today that's all all I have tied on we could tie on different things but I'm gonna be relying on that Ned rig um, the little worm and this crankbait so hopefully we catch a fish if you're seeing this right now we probably did so stay tuned it'll be a good one see you then Alrighty guys, welcome to the spot. We are finally here. Take a look around. It's looking beautiful out. Um, just a beautiful day. It's gonna be like, th this is like the last time we'll get some good weather for a really long time. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to get on some good fish. Yeah, we're gonna be going for some smallmouth. Always a possibility that we get some brown trout. So stay tuned, should be fun. Enjoy. Oh, that water's frigid. It's so cold. All right guys, 
no lure left behind, I guess. Oh, got the bright pink so uh, Crocs on, took the socks off. Why is this water so cold and why is it running so fast? That's what I need to know. Yeah, it's deep here too. Bro, it's like, it's deep here. I'm going up to my knees. Oh, I got it. Ooh, look at this. Look at up here. Yeah, hold up. Oh, tell me there's a fish over here. Oh yeah, right here. And guys, um, let me just say, let me just preface this whole video by saying, I have not creek fished in a very long time. I first creek fished this season probably in like March. And that at that time, the river was just super high and muddy and I just did not have a great time. So I haven't done it in a while, but I know that these smallmouth are in these creeks now. So I think that we do have a pretty good chance of catching them, um, but it is gonna take a little bit of figuring out because it's been a while since I've been here. So, um, I don't know. I think if I do, if I did have to guess, I think we would be pretty successful today. I, I think that the conditions are pretty ripe for some smally action, but we'll have to see. I'm not sure. Like right over there looks like some trout action. That's what I'm saying. That's why you got to figure it out with Paige and get ready to fish. Yep. I one. Look at this. Good smally. What is it? Oh, <laughs> Look how he ate this thing, bro. He fought like a smally. All right, guys. First fish of the day. Look how he ate this freaking Sukoshi bug. He he chomped it, bro. Look at it. You guys see that? He he definitely wanted it. Um, not exactly the fish I was expecting for our first catch, but um, definitely definitely a fish. He got chomped on. Actually, look at that. That's interesting. Nice little Rocco. Let's get him back. Meanwhile, Jason is learning how to cast again. All right, guys. I am like soaked all the way up to just about the nether region. So um, if I do get snagged again, at least I'm not going to like hesitate to get that deep. Because it already happened, but hopefully my wallet's good and everything. And uh, yeah, got that bait out. Kudos to Jason. He actually went all the way deep to get it. But um, yeah, it's been kind of a rough start. We got on a first fish. Oh my God, I just got bit by a smallie, I think. I don't know what it was. It's a little smallie. It's just a branch probably. All right, guys, we got to do some talking here. <laughs> it's been about 20 minutes, probably. And uh, yeah, we did catch that one rock bass, but I kid you not, I broke off. You probably saw I broke off off of that Ned rig, went back all the way to my backpack, tied on another Ned rig, same thing. And then first cast, I snagged again and I could not get it out. So here we are just going to use the Senko. You guys know what, it, what it's like. I mean, I, I hope you guys can understand because it's just it's just ridiculous. Like, it's just so snaggy. I can't can't use a Ned Rig around here. I might end up going back to it if I do catch more fish, but. Use your rod to poke it out once you get down there. Oh my God. It's a smallie. What the hell? I thought I was snagged again. Oh my God. Hit like a freaking train. I totally thought that was a freaking snag. Oh my God, guys. Wow, that feels good. That's a little break for once. Holy crap. I really just thought I was snagged and I was like, oh, here we go again. But no, nice little smallie. Let's take a look, guys. Hopefully you guys can see. Wasn't even ready to catch another fish. It's actually really pretty. Wow, let's take a little picture of that. Beautiful creek smallie. Let's get a nice little release. That feels a little better. It makes me feel a little better. There he goes. All right, guys. Had to help my friend take his little snag out. I'll just focus on fishing. Get on more fish. 
hopefully increase our confidence a little bit because today has been pretty it's been a rough start i'll, I'll put it that because the day hasn't been bad but the, the start we've only been here for like an hour tops so i mean it's beautiful out we're getting bites that's not a problem i saw a huge fish i don't think i was recording but i saw a really huge largemouth for this creek and he was just chilling right under some branches like it, exactly what you would expect him to do so but yeah today it's been a rough start so let's just move on hopefully make this like two minutes of the video let's not let it take over the video positive vibes only big bass energy as uh noah says and um just get some more bites hopefully no more snags because i'm done with the snags i don't want that to happen i'm good with that Oh my God, Smalley, two of them. They're looking at it. Wait, 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 wait. They're looking at it. Why didn't they eat it? There was two of them right there. What? They went back over. They're like little ones. Two Smalleys. Yo, chill. Is this as far as we can go? Nah, I, can, I think we can go further. All right, I'm, I'm going for it. Me. <laughs> this kid went. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can't even get that. Oh, my God. Good one. Good one. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good fish. Look at this fish. Yo, yo, yo. Oh. <laughs> you didn't hear me say, oh my God, good one. <laughs> it's a largey. Look at him, he's still going. He's still going. Oh my God. Holy crap. Oh my God. Yo. What the f- <laughs> Oh, I'm weighing this sucker. I'm weighing him. Oh my. How did it, how did the hook get like this? Oh my, guys, take a look before I take this hook out. What the frick? This what I mean, bro. There's just random, like, good fish in here. Good fish. All right, guys. Take a look. Let's get a nice little release here. Oh, good freaking bass. Oh, he's ready. It's getting underwater, actually. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to mess my camera up. But here we go. Boom. All set. Oh, I never weighed him. Crap. I didn't. <laughs> Damn it. Don't worry, I'll catch him. Yeah, right. That was a good fish. Probably like two and a half. Two and a half. Perfect. Right up on the bank. Yeah, that's probably like a two, two pounder. But um, yeah, on this yum dinger, guys, you can't go, <laughs> you can't go wrong with the with the little yummy. We were trying that Ned rig. I did get bites, but it's just so snaggy. It's just impossible to really efficiently fish. We're gonna stick with this yum dinger. I do have a, have my backpack with me just in case. We just fish lights out and gotta mix it up, but. All right, just take a look guys. Standard Texas rig, green pumpkin yumdinger. And uh, what I did is I targeted that like right up on the bank, but my cast was a little short. So he was kind of probably like five feet off the bank. Felt a little tug and sure enough. And that wasn't even my first cast over there. It took a couple casts, so. But um, if you guys are creek and wade fishing for the first time, I would suggest targeting those shaded pockets where it gets deep and uh, making good number of casts there because you never know if there are, is a fish. You gotta really um, make sure you're paying your due diligence because you never know. But I'm gonna stop talking and keep fishing. All right guys, we've been fishing probably for another half hour after I caught that one fish. Um, not really any luck. We're gonna turn back probably soon. We're getting kind of far up and we left our stuff back there, but I don't know. These fish are weird. The only times I've caught fish is when I've like, just let it sit and just let it drift. A lot like how you would fish for a trout, so. It's 
tough finding them. But when you do find them, they are there. Want to put money on it? This looks way too good. These fish could be anywhere. Like even this is deep. No way. Oh. <laughs> I got excited too. Got bit, I got one. A little largey. I saw him eat it. Wow, he looks a little bigger than I thought. Looked like a little one pounder in the water. This might be a one and a half pounder. Okay, wow, this is actually a lot bigger than I thought. Barely hooked him too. He just came over, slurped them up. Uh, number four on the day. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, he looked like a little, little dink. I didn't even think he got the hook in his mouth, but let's let him go. See if he's ready. There he goes. All right, guys, right over here, right amongst this wood. A little, it looked like a little guy come right out, but decent fish. Once again, I didn't have to do very much. He just came out, picked it up. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna do just a little final update probably before we head back and turn around and head back. Um, on four fish, one smallie, one rock bass, and then two largemouth. Pretty good day so far. I mean, it, it was kind of frustrating in the beginning, but I mean, we are getting a little bit, we are getting some bites. I mean, I am. Jay, have you gotten any bites? One, he came off, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. So he did get on a fish, he just couldn't land it. But I mean, this creek is really good for catching fish. You just gotta really work for it. You gotta find the deep spots and they are there, but um, so yeah, so four fish on the day. Hopefully we get on a couple more, but if not, I'll see you back at the car. All right, well, this is happening two videos in a row, but I was making really good casts, felt a little, little nibble, made another couple casts, and then eventually, as I was kind of like reeling in, he just kind of picked it up like randomly, but um, let's get away at least. Yeah, guys, um, I'm really sorry. I did not mean for this to happen. And why is it in kilograms? Are you kidding me? All right, well, I guess we're just gonna have to do the calculation later. I'll put it up when I'm editing, but um, my guess, what are you, probably like a pound and like a quarter, maybe. Dude, can you, can you do it? Oh, there he goes. Oh, okay, yeah, he's gone. All right, whatever. All right, guys, I really have no idea how I continue to let this happen. I could have swore I pressed the record button, but um, yeah, so as I said, couldn't really get a weight, but as I said, I uh, made some pretty good casts, if I do say so myself, and uh, he didn't actually bite where I was casting. It was as I was reeling in, he just picked it up. That was a lot like the, I think it was the first molly I caught. He just kind of slammed it. The rest of them, they just picked it up right as it's drifting, but I, I really have no idea how I did not record that, but I apologize. At least, at least we've caught a bunch of other fish, so it's not that bad, but whatever. Let's get on some more and actually get it on camera. Wow, that was just not what I meant to do. But yeah, he was right over here. You can't really tell, I can't tell how deep it is, but you can tell by the foam that it's deep-ish water, I guess. Or I mean, it's slow water and it's just dark, so seems like it could be deep. It's really what you wanna look for is just foam and dark-ish water. It's where I've caught all my fish at least. And from the fish that I've seen, like I've physically seen before I even was able to cast, they were chilling in that same type of water, deep and uh, foamy. So that's a good, oh my, don't wanna drop that. But yeah, guys, so just fishing these, you know, target spots and um, just making as many casts as you can, really. I'm gonna personally try to get on one more bass or trout. <laughs> And Jason, I'm sure, wants to get on his first fish of the day. So when that happens, we can finally close this video out or it just gets super dark and we just have to turn back. Oh my God. 
Oh my God, that was so sick. <gasps> it's a big one. It's a big freaking bass. Oh my God, he's in the current. Oh my God, Jason. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, Jay, Jay, Jay. Jay, PB. Holy f Guys, I was recording. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. Yo, look at him. What the frick? Oh my God. Oh my God, we gotta weigh him. We gotta weigh him. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my, I'm not losing this fish. I'm not losing this fish. Yo, get the thing. Yo, take a picture. Take a picture. Look, 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 look. Oh my God, we're not losing this fish. Look how big he is. Guys, guys. Oh, this video Are just turned recording? to me. Yes, I am. I was recording the whole time. I'm not losing this fish, bro. I think it's in my pocket. All right, guys. GoPro's at five, literally 5%. Five we're on the way back. All right, hold, hey, hold his lips, hold his lips, hold his lips. Oh, oh my. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold his lips, hold his lips. Just hold it so I can zero it. Hold his lips. Okay, yeah, that, that works too. I want to zero it. All right, ready? 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 I'm yep. dropping. Oh my God, I saw seven. Four pounds, four Whoa. ounces. Let me get another weight. Hold him again, hold him again, just to zero it. Four pounds, four ounces. Oh. Are you ready? Okay. Go. All right, we're going four pound, four ounce. <laughs> That's insane. Yo, get a picture, get a picture. Our quest to the five pounder is getting there, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right. all right, all right, we gotta get a nice release on this chonker of a bass. This is a bertha right here. Guys, if you aren't already, make sure you subscribe down below. Oh my God, guys. What a perfect way to end the video. One more look. That's a good bass. That's, that's insane. Let's make sure he's good. And let him go. I'm just gonna wait till he kicks off. You know what? I'll put him in uh, slower water. Like over here, probably. Alright, guys. Let's let him go. GoPro died. So let's let him go. What a beast. What a freaking creek beast. Let's go. Make sure you subscribe down below. Leave a like, comment, all that. Let me know what you wanna see next. If you aren't already a part of the RT fam, subscribe because that's exactly what we do. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I don't have the bait tied on for it. Oh, we can get down there, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Perfect. It's like a little stairway. Hey, that wasn't bad at all, bro. Yo, this is gonna be so sick. Let me get a good cast along the bank. Oh, yeah. This looks pretty good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yep. Oh, he's big. He looks big. Oh, he freaking slammed it. Let's go. I think it's a smallie. Oh, my God. It's a big smallie. Oh, my God, guys. Holy crap. No, no. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. Got a good hold. Guys, second Whopper Popper fish of the, we actually switched up locations. This is kind of similar to what we were fishing, except it's a little uh, creek that comes off of the river system. And there we go. Nice little smallmouth on that 110 Whopper Popper. Let's get a nice little release here. There he goes. Nice little smallie. Oh, this looks good. Ooh, something just jumped in the middle. Jay, did you see that? Yeah. Something jumped it right in the middle over there. Really? Holy crap, what? another one. He came up and smoked it. Little one, little one. Actually, he's not too bad. Just a little bit tinier. Okay. All right, guys, take a look. Fish number three, it's getting kind of dark out, but these fish are still biting. So hopefully you guys can see. Really feisty dude, kind of annoying to get the hooks out. I'm not gonna lie, but nice little small mouth. Let's get him back. Here we go. There's actually a really deep drop off right here, which, oh yeah, he's ready to go. Okay. You see how it just cuts off right here? Not gonna lie, I haven't really caught too many Whopper Plopper fish, but after catching three today and just seeing how they're eating it, I might be kind of sold. 
Not yet though, not yet. Gotta give it some time. 